，时针它不停在转动。小雨它拍打着水花，滴答滴答滴答滴答，是不是还会牵挂他？King Silk Art. This is truly some of the most spectacular art that man has to offer. What you're seeing is this is all silk embroidered, and it comes from a province in China called Suzhou. And this art has been being done for over 2,000 years. There are families that were put there by the emperor to embroider his robes. What they do is they'll take all the silkworms, they put them in these baskets, and feed them on mulberry leaves. Once the silkworms have matured, they spin into a cocoon. And here's an example of a cocoon stage. The cocoon itself okay, and what they do with this is they'll take a vegetable dye, permeate the silk with the dye. So what you're looking at is an organic to an organic so the dye becomes a permanent fixture in the silk thread, and so it will never lose its color. They can get about 2,000 feet out of one cocoon of that very, very fine fiber. This is thinner than a human hair. They'll then take this and literally just start stitching it. As part of it, the first thing they'll do is they'll split the thread down to a, a specific count of the thread itself. The thread starts with a total of 16 strands. Depending upon the quality of the piece, they will determine how many strands they use to actually do the work. Something like this, like a tiger for example, these top quality pieces will take anywhere from months to years to complete. So if we look, for example, at the back of one piece, and here you can actually see that how lovely it actually is. And if you were to rub your hands over it, you can actually feel the little knots. This is actually one of the key elements to tell you that this has actually been stitched by hand. So in fact, if you turn it over, and there's the front. Absolutely wonderful. Did